General Motors announced back in October of 2023 that the Chevy Bolt would use lithium ion phosphate batteries, which would save the company $5 billion and allow it to make an affordable EV that maybe it can make a profit on. General Motors have revealed that that vehicle will come out in 2025. However, there's one big problem. Absolutely nobody knows where General Motors are going to get their lithium ion phosphate batteries from. Now, I think I might have worked it out. I'm curious to know if, if I, you guys think I'm on the right track here. I've discovered an investment made by General Motors into an American battery company. But this is a big long shot here. General Motors is, well, obviously it's Ultium EV production is non-existent right now. The Chevy Blazer has been paused. There is no more EV production for the current Chevy Bolt. The GM's EV sales have just fallen through the floor. No one really knows if General Motors has a serious plan and if they can actually pull it off. But here's what I think General Motors wants to do. It's what it's hoping will play out for it next year. But like I said, this is unquestionably a long shot. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking, great to see you. I've been talking about lithium ion phosphate batteries on the channel now for about three years since we started. Obviously, LFP batteries are the most commonly used battery packs in the world right now. And I've mentioned many times on the channel over the last few years that General Motors had no choice but to make affordable electric cars using lithium ion phosphate batteries. I think that was pretty obvious. General Motors finally came to their senses in October of last year and decided that yes, that was their only choice. They said that by using lithium ion phosphate cells, they'd save $5 billion and be able to actually manufacture an affordable EV that, well, they wouldn't be losing enormous amounts of money on. General Motors' production of its Bolt EV and Bolt EUV ended last year. There's still some of them around, but basically they're almost pretty much all sold now. However, its new Bolt EUV, they won't be making a Bolt, by the way, it'll just be a Bolt EUV, will use lithium ion phosphate batteries and be manufactured using the Ultium battery platform. And that's just a platform. That's not the batteries themselves. General Motors have revealed they have already made a purchase of these LFP batteries, but no one knows who from. GM's current Ultium battery cells utilize a nickel, cobalt, manganese, aluminium, or NCMA chemistry, which is called a ternary battery in China. The new LFP batteries will help General Motors save billions of dollars in capital and engineering expenses. And this is what GM actually said, right? They said another key launch for us is the next generation Bolt EV. I know there's been some speculation in the market as to why we are developing a new Bolt EV. Our strategy is to build on the tremendous equity we have in the brand and to do it as efficiently as possible. Now, this is what the new Bolt EUV is speculated to look like. This picture comes from GM Authority, which is a GM website. GM said this, our prior portfolio plans included several newly designed vehicles in the entry level segment and a capital commitment of $5 billion over the next several years. Bow went on to state that the upcoming Bolt models will utilize GM's Ultium technology, but they'll have Tesla NAX chargers and use lithium ion phosphate battery cells. They said in the process, we are saving billions of dollars in capital and engineering expense, delivering a significantly cost improved battery pack using purchased from someone else, LFP cells. So the question here is, who exactly are they purchasing these LFP cells from? Well, back in August of 2023, it was quietly announced that General Motors invested in an American, in fact, a California-based battery startup. Now, this battery startup is specializing in high energy density LFP cells and LMFP. General Motors invested in this Silicon Valley startup to help its speed development of more affordable battery chemistry for GM's future electric cars. General Motors invested $60 million into Mita Chem, a two-year-old Mountain View, California company that uses artificial intelligence to accelerate development of lithium-ion batteries. Now, this to me sounds like a company that has possibly a really good product. There is some big challenges here though. However, Mita Chem will help General Motors develop advanced iron-based cathode active materials such as lithium 
manganese iron phosphate or LMFP that could be used in some of GM's next generation Ultium batteries, maybe in 2025. Lithium ion phosphate and manganese enriched LMFP are less expensive, more sustainable alternatives to the nickel cobalt mixture used in many current EV battery cathodes. Here's what General Motors said about their investment. This is a strategic investment that will further help reinforce GM's efforts in EV batteries and accelerate our work on affordable battery chemistries like LMFP. The US Inflation Reduction Act is one of the main drivers, said General Motors, into investing in Medichem and into trying to get battery supply in the United States, where, of course, you can get $7,500 in terms of your actual purchase for the customer to buy that EV. But remember, battery manufacturers and battery and car companies also get incentives from the US government if they use batteries made in the United States. So it appears as though, seeing as General Motors have not signed any contracts with CATL or BYD, any of the major lithium ion phosphate companies in the world, that they plan on getting their lithium ion phosphate batteries from Medichem in California. Now, if General Motors was truly serious about manufacturing a Chevy Bolt EUV and making a lot of them, and using lithium ion phosphate batteries across a range of different cars in their affordable models, would they have just bought batteries from Medichem, who as yet is not mass producing anything? Well, I don't know. Obviously, GM is hoping it can essentially make its own batteries. Now, because it owns a percentage of Medichem, if it does that, it would look better. It would be making its own batteries in the US. It could benefit from US incentives, etc., And that would be a good thing. But ramping up battery production is very challenging, as General Motors have learned with their battery production ramp up that they've done with LG Chem in the United States. It's been very difficult for the company. So is this a good idea? It seems to me like General Motors are putting all their eggs in one barrel yet again. I suggest that maybe they could do with a bit of help with mass production for LFP. So just having this startup, Medichem, just hoping that Medichem can produce massive numbers of LFP batteries that General Motors can use next year, seems optimistic. It seems possibly unlikely. I mean, maybe Medichem will have some battery production. I can't imagine it would be enough for what General Motors needs though. Guys, what are your thoughts about this? Either way, I think it's a really good decision for General Motors to use lithium ion phosphate batteries, and they're saying it'll save them billions of dollars. Now, we all knew this was the case years ago when Tesla began doing it. Why did it take General Motors so long? I don't know. GM just takes a, takes a long time to do anything, really. Thanks for watching.